At the moment, there's a great unmet need for better dementia care. So if we look at the situation around the country, it is accepted that most people out in the community do not have a diagnosis, and even those who are diagnosed are diagnosed way too late. So the average time for someone to come to a proper diagnosis of a disease causing dementia runs into the months. That's an unacceptably long period of time. We also then have this mismatch whereby there are very sophisticated tools for diagnosing uh, dementia and identifying different brain changes in different diseases causing dementia, but they are largely at the moment confined to university centres, research centres or specialist clinics such as my own. But actually we all know that the majority of people who have dementia don't go to those clinics, they're not based or they don't live around such centres, they live out in the community. So what this project has the power to do is to bring all that state-of-the-art diagnostic technology to the individual. So this is like an inversion of the standard rule that rather than having the individual go to the centre to have access to these diagnostics, the information, the, the, the technology and the analysis goes to that individual. And that has enormous implications for dementia diagnosis because it means that we have a much greater chance then of diagnosing all those cases in the community that we know not to be picked up, not to be diagnosed. And that's the first thing. Second thing is the issue about speed of diagnosis. I've mentioned earlier the fact that it takes months for people to be uh, diagnosed. There is this very long process by which people will see their GP, will be seen by a hostel specialist, and then may be referred on to another specialist such as myself, and that's a process that, they, that takes months. The technology that's being uh, tested as part of this project will aim to bring all those diagnostic skills right to the point of initial referral. So the GP in a community-based clinic can refer an individual with memory problems to this service, have a very early, highly sophisticated set of diagnostics performed and have a very early um, readout, a report about what that person may have in terms of the underlying diagnosis or the kind of disease causing dementia. So I think for me that's the second component. The third component is that of diagnostic accuracy. The traditional way of diagnosing individuals with dementia, even in my clinic, would be to have an MRI scan have it seen by a radiologist, so a qualitative visual inspection of a scan to look for any changes, and also to have memory testing done by a neuropsychologist using a certain type of memory testing tool. Now, all that analysis is qualitative, it's subjective, which is good, but one could argue that having all this information quantified gives actually better diagnostic sensitivity and specificity. And what I find quite exciting about this project as it will unfold over the next two years is looking at how that additional diagnostic accuracy and this ability of these tests to classify disease better may impact on earlier diagnosis for these community patients.